Some prefer a fast answer to a simple question that chatbot can look up quickly thanks to AI assistants that scans your website in search of the answer. Others need more tending to, like they have to sleep on their couch because their mattress didn't arrive as promised. That's when a human touch needs to come in to save that relationship and perhaps even build a stronger bond. It's the best of both worlds. With live chat and chatbot on your site, you won't have anything to worry about. They truly are the ultimate combination for stellar customer service. And that's exactly why I've got a tutorial for you on how to add chatbot to live chat. So to add chatbot to live chat, you'll need to log into your live chat account. If you don't have one just yet, you can sign up for free. We have a free 14 day trial, no credit card required. Now, once you create one, please make sure to follow the steps to complete the configuration process, like checking your inbox for a confirmation email. Afterwards, you'll be ready to set up the integration. Right, for now, I'm going to log in. So once we're logged in to our live chat app, we want to find the team section and then go to the chatbots tab at the top. We want to click on connect with chatbot. We can give our new chatbot actually a name. So I'm going to go with chatbot uh, Jasper and we're going to click connect with live chat. Right, if you already have a chatbot account, you'll be redirected to your chatbot account. If you don't have one just yet, it will actually create a free 14 day trial for you automatically. So we have a few templates to choose from here. Uh, the first one being a lead generation, which collects visitor contact details and gets new leads automatically. Then we have an out of office chatbot template, which asks for customer contact details when you're offline. And lastly, build from scratch, where you can create your custom chatbot in minutes in the chatbot editor. I'm going to choose the lead generation chatbot template, which will work best for transferring chats to live chat. Then I'm gonna go and click on add chatbot. We wanna select manage and chatbot. We want to turn on our story and click on connect with live chat. We want to choose our story. So here lead generation bot and connect with live chat. So this is our lead generation bot story. We want to close the pop-ups that we have here. So here we have our lead generation bot story. So everything here we see is our story. Um, it's quite long. You can scroll around and see what we have here. In the beginning, we have our welcome message. So if we click on it, we can adjust it. So we have various um, variants to choose from. I'm gonna stick with this one. Then under the welcome message, we can see transfer to agent. So once we click on it, we have various uh, keywords. So this is called the user input section. And if a customer mentions one of these keywords, the bot will transfer the chat to the agent. So you can also add your keywords that you'd like. Let's close this for now. Then we have the transfer to agent flow. So if we double click it, we can see the overall story tree of how a chat gets transferred to an agent. So in the transfer to agent bot response block, you'll find many variants of responses you can choose from. Like, thank you for your request. Let me transfer you to one of our agents now. Certainly I'll get in touch with one of our representatives in a moment, etc., etc. So definitely take a look around. After an attempt of transferring the chat, we have two scenarios. So one, um, success, chat transferred, and the other, failure, no agents available. So if there are no agents available, then the bot will inform the customer. If we click on the inform the customer bot response, we have once again, many variants of responses to choose from. 
so you can click through them and see which suits you. Right, let's go back to the main story. So apart from the welcome message, we have AI Assist and we have default fallback. The AI Assist module enables your chatbot to utilize the AI knowledge and FAQ data to answer your customer's questions. It's quite useful, so I definitely recommend checking it out. I'm gonna leave you a few links in the description with more info on AI Assist. Then we have a default fallback that is triggered whenever your chatbot doesn't recognize the user's message. As we can see, we have a fallback message created that will help them get what they need. Once again, if we click on it, we have many variants to choose from, like asking the customer for more information on what the customer is inquiring about. Simply choose one of them that you like. So you must be wondering, how does the hierarchy work? Um, bot flow, AI assist, and default fallback. Well, the rule is that if the chatbot doesn't find a predefined answer for the customer's question, it will search for an answer in AI Assist. If it doesn't find the answer there, then it will rely on the default fallback and send the customer the fallback message, asking them for more information. If the customer starts a chat and immediately sends a message such as, I need human help, then the keyword is triggered and the bot will transfer the customer to an agent if one is available. Right, so now you know how to add chatbot to live chat. Thank you for watching and see you soon.